the mighty God, the great I am, the mighty one of Israel. Come on, give me a wave offering. Give me a wave offering. Give me a wave offering. Give him a wave offering. Give him a wave offering. Why don't you add your voice to it and give him the praise? Add your voice to it and give him all the adoration. Tell him, Daddy, you are worthy. You are worthy of all the glory. You are worthy of all the honor. You are worthy of all the praise. My, oh, you are worthy. You are worthy. My praise belongs to you. My worship belongs to you, O oh Lord Father. There is no one like you. None can be compared with you, O oh Lord Father. No one can ever love me like you have. No one can ever take care of me like you have. Oh, how I worship, how I worship, how I worship you. How I exalt you, exalt you, exalt you. How I exalt you, exalt you, exalt you. How I exalt you, exalt you, exalt you, exalt you. Masanda kasandi evo koso ti abasi karaboso. Masindi evo koso ti ere kete evo tombo. Masanda rabosi karabo tombo so ti ere kete. Mo koso ndi abasi karabatambo so ti ere kete. We worship you. We exalt you. There is no one like you. None can be compared with you. Black ese ti ere evo so ti ere kete evo tombo. Marabos. So tire ke tere botombo so tire ke tem morobo so tire ke tere botombo re kasanda rabo si karabo to so tire ke te re bo so tire ke tere botombo marabo so tire ke tere botombo so tire ke te re bo zondo rabo si karabata bo so tire ke te mo zo tie bo ko so tire re ke te re bo zondo tire ke tere boto ko so tire ke te mo zondo rabo si karabata bo so tire ke te Rebo zondo robo si karabata mbo so chirike woko so chirike te blessed be blessed be blessed be blessed be your holy name mo so chirobo zondo robo reka si ete reke te rebo tombo so chirike te rebo zondo robo si karabata mbo so chirike te rebo tombo rebo zondo robo si karabata mbo so chirike te rebo tombo rebo zondo robo si karabata mbo so chirike te rebo zondo Rebo zondo robo si karabata mbo so chire kete mo zondo robo si karabata mbo so chire kete rebo zondo robo si karabata mbo so chire kete in Jesus in Jesus name we pray I wonder whether we can stand up and just say just two or three more prayer points hallelujah praise the Lord hallelujah amen why don't you cry unto the Lord and say Father let your mercy saturate this service today let your mercy let your grace the fullness of your mercy the fullness of your grace saturate this atmosphere in the name of jesus the fullness of your grace the fullness of your mercy mamo somi e kere bo so tire ke tere bo mazandi e bo si karabo to so tire ke te mozondro bo si karabo to bo so tire ke tere bo to bo masandara bo si karaba ta bo so tire ke tere bo to bo re bo sondro bo si karaba ta bo so tire ke tere bo to bo mazandara ba si karaba ta bo so tire ke tere bo to bo re ka sa e ke mo ko so tire ke tere bo to bo mazandara ba si karaba ta bo so tire ke te in Jesus name we pray Amen. and in Jesus name we pray Amen. now the bible says in jeremiah 32:27 behold i am the god the, uh, the, the lord the god of all flesh is there anything too hard for me i just want you to raise a voice and pray that if there be anybody who is sick in their body right now that the lord by his grace by his mercy he will heal them in the name of the Lord Jesus because we have come to the throne of grace mas yebo komoso ni eke masandi ebosika
Farabo si karaboto so ti eke masan di eke. Daddy, touch every flesh, O Lord. You are the God of all flesh. There is nothing too hard for you. Right now, in the name of Jesus, let your healing power penetrate every flesh, every body. In this place, in the name of Jesus, you say that come boldly to the throne of grace and you will find grace and you will find grace to help in time of need. My God and my Father, in the name of Jesus, let your healing anointing penetrate every flesh, every body here that is suffering from one sickness, from one ailment, O oh Lord Father, one problem, one pain, O oh Lord Father. Heal, O oh Lord. Heal and deliver. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus. Heal and deliver. Send the rebel sikaraboto so tieke. Heal and deliver. In the name of Jesus. Heal and deliver. Mara send the rebel sikarabatamba. Let your healing power, let the wind of your spirit move upon this auditorium. Touch every home. Heal my father. Heal king of glory. Heal and deliver. In the name of Jesus. Let none walk out of this place with sickness with disease in the name of the Lord Jesus in the name of Jesus name we pray and in Jesus' name we pray. I was listening to the news this week, and they say that um, Israel may be the first country that may have to go into complete lockdown. Hallelujah. Now, the scripture tells us in Psalms 122, verse 6 and 7. Psalms 122, verse 6 and 7. Bible say, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. Peace within your walls, prosperity within your palaces. You're going to lift up your voice. Peace is absence of struggle, is absence of tears, is absence of torment, is absence of war. You're going to pray concerning Israel in the name of the Lord Jesus that Father Heal, heal the land of Israel against COVID-19. Let peace be in Jerusalem. Peace upon Israel. Raise your voice with meaning. Raise your voice with meaning. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, as a church this morning, King of glory, we pray, Father, for the peace of Jerusalem. We pray for the peace of Israel. We ask in the name of Jesus, heal the land of Israel of COVID-19 in the name of Jesus. Heal Israel completely in the name of the Lord Jesus. May the peace of God be upon Israel. Arise in your jealousy, daddy. Arise in your jealousy. 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 Heal Heal Israel, heal Israel, heal Israel, heal Israel, heal Jerusalem. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Mazan Dieboshi Karaboso Miekem, Masin Dieke Mosotiaba, Rekasan Dieboshika. In Jesus' name we pray. Now Jerusalem represents the church. It represents the presence of the almighty God. Go ahead and lift up voice. Father, heal the church. 
Mara sandi yebo shikarabo toso mam resindi yeke moso tiabam maziti yeke rebo tombo soti abam Father in the name of the Lord Jesus we lift up O oh Lord the church all over the world O oh Lord we ask that you heal the church in your power heal the church in your jealousy heal the church in your grace heal the church in the name of Jesus the church all over the world, O oh Lord Father, heal the church in the name of Jesus of every sickness, of every disease in the name of Jesus. And a member of the body of Christ, O oh Lord Father, you said in your word, O oh Lord Father, that as many that call upon the name of the Lord, they shall be saved, O oh Lord Father, save the church, Daddy, heal the church in the name of the Lord. Jesus, heal the church, O oh Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, and in Jesus' name we pray. Now, Jeremiah 29, verse 7, Bible said that pray for the peace of the city where I have carried you, for the, in the peace thereof is your peace. Here we are, we stand in this land of the United Kingdom, where the Lord has carried us, where the Lord has established us. Why to pray against COVID-19? Father, we pray for your peace in the name of the Lord Jesus. Peace in this United Kingdom, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Peace, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. You are the Prince of Peace. You are the Prince of Peace. You are the Prince of your peace. You are the Prince of Peace. We pray, Father, for peace. Peace in this city of Cambridge. Peace in the United Kingdom against COVID-19. In the name of Jesus, against COVID-19. 19 in the name of Jesus against COVID 19 in the name of Jesus Reka Sandi Kamoko Som Yekem Resin Yekem Asan Yerekem Mokorobo Sotiara Morson die ke sendere bosi karaba resan die bosi karabo tombo soti aba in Jesus name we pray you're gonna raise your voice and again they say the number of the virus is increasing. Let us raise our voice that the Lord will suppress it rapidly. That the Lord will push it, push it, push it, push it back. Raise your voice, raise your voice and push it back in the name of the Lord Jesus. King of glory, Daddy, we command in the name of Jesus. Amen. Virus, oh Lord, King of Glory, we are pushing back alone. Oh we command in the name of Jesus, King of Glory, it will not multiply no more, it will not increase no more. In the name of Jesus, it will not increase no more. In the name of Jesus, it will not increase no more. It will not increase no more. It will not increase no more. In the name of Jesus. It will not increase no more. We push back, oh Lord. We push back, we push back, we push back. We suppress it, we suppress it. In the name of Jesus, Daddy, we refuse. We refuse, we refuse, we refuse, we refuse. Mara Sandarabo Sikarabo Toso Tirekete, Masandi Ereke Seterebo Sikarabo Tombo Sotirekete, Mozondo Robo Sikaraba Tambo Sotirekete, Rebo Tombo Sotirekete. In Jesus' name we pray. And in Jesus' name we pray. Jeremiah chapter. One and verse number 10. See, I have this day set you over the nations and over kingdoms to root out and pull down, to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. Somebody uproot this virus right from its root. Every spirit behind COVID-19 must Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we uproot, O oh Lord, COVID-19 right from its roots in the name of Jesus. We uproot it in the name of Jesus. We render it powerless in the name of Jesus and 
cast it to desolate places in the name of Jesus and cast it to desolate places in the name of Jesus. Masandara bosikala boto so chirekete. Maraba zandara bosikala batambo so chirekete. Rebo zondoro bosikala batambo so chirekete. In Jesus and in Jesus' name we pray. And in Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Praise God. I made it such prayers is also worth uh, celebrating God. Hallelujah. I think um, uh, on the 16th of, um, of September was Pastor Ola's birthday. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let, let, let's take a moment and pray for Pastor Ola. Hallelujah. Come on, raise your voice and bless him and pray for him in the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, Riabashi Karabatamba. In Jesus' name we pray. And in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for the gift of life that you've given your son, Ola. Thank you, King of glory, almighty God, for your goodness over the years. To this very day, O oh Lord, thank you, O oh Lord, Father, for his life, for upholding him, for sustaining him for protecting him, for watching over him, for ordering his steps in the name of Jesus. Thank you for blessing him. Thank you for his joy times. Thank you for his sorrow time. Thank you because you've seen him through everything. Daddy, on this season of his birthday, I pray in the name of Jesus, as the Bible said that at your right hand are pleasures evermore. Daddy, as a birthday gift, I pray that you pleasure his heart more than ever before. In the name of the Lord Jesus, with this new birthday, let it mark a new season on in his life in the name of Jesus thank you father in Jesus name we pray amen and amen you may be seated in God's presence <coughs> hallelujah praise the Lord um, just uh, two more announcement um, sister mercy uh, uh, who Sister Mercy, who is um, who was with us here for her uh, school time when she did her undergraduate, and she was a key worker in this church. Um, she is getting married on the seventeenth of um, of October. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So her um, her wedding is in Birmingham. Praise God. She asked me to. Uh, to tell the church uh, about this exciting news. And if anybody wants to attend um, uh, the, uh, their uh, um, uh, accommodating people by slot, by slots, praise God, I'm going to ask that uh, if you want to go to Birmingham to attend Mercy's wedding, please um, uh, indicate your interest with Sister Christiana. Hallelujah. Sister Christiana is at the back there. Praise God. We want to make this an, uh, an occasion to remember for her. Praise God. Um, and this is how we, um, uh, we don't, rec we don't um, realize how much God is using us to impact lives. Praise God. Uh, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, I will be um, officiating the wedding in Babylon by the grace of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. We are so excited for her. Hallelujah. Praise God. And for as many that registered for the workers in training program, that starts on the 3rd of October. That starts on the 3rd of October. And the time 
is 10 a.m. Um, starting time, Saturday the 10th of October. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm reminded of a song that says, You open my eyes to the wonders of me. You've captured my heart with this love. Cause nothing on earth is as beautiful as you. You open my eyes to the wonders of me. You've captured my heart with this love. Cause nothing on earth is as beautiful as you. You open, you open my eyes to your wonders of me. You've captured my heart with this love. Cause nothing on earth is as beautiful as you. Beautiful one, I love. Beautiful one, I adore. Beautiful one, my soul, my beautiful one. Beautiful one, I love. Beautiful one. I adore, beautiful one, my soul, my, say you open, you open my eyes to your wonders of me, you've captured my heart with this love, cause nothing on earth is as beautiful as you my soul hallelujah praise god amen you may be seated hallelujah amen god is good and all the time god is what god is good hallelujah praise god hallelujah you know uh bra emmanuel professor emmanuel good to see you hallelujah amen amen Hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, we started um, a series on divine exchange last Sunday. Praise God. You know, um, you know I want us to draw, I want to draw us to attention, our attention to the book of Mark, Mark chapter 8 and verse 37. Praise God. We defined uh, divine exchange. Um, as an act of giving one thing for another. Amen? Uh, but um, divine there means it's of God. Amen? We're doing it in the Lord, or the Lord inspires it and causes it to happen, or we're doing it because we are of what? Of the Lord. Hallelujah. There you are, Mark uh, 8, 37, Bible says, or what? Will a man give in what? <clears throat> in exchange for his soul. Hallelujah. What will a man give in exchange for his soul? Praise God. Lastly, we, um, last week we, <clears throat> by and large, established that, um, you know, that, that for us children of God, praise God, uh, <clears throat> our uh, our transformation, our change is based on the finished work of Christ upon the uh, cross at Calvary. Hallelujah. You know, uh, you know uh, uh, our place of exchange and transformation, our assurance, praise God, concerning that is based on the what? On, on the finished work of Jesus Christ um, at the cross, uh, or at the cross of Calvary. Praise God. Hallelujah. We also read in that exchange, in appreciated that exchange in Isaiah 52, I think it was verse 5, that, um, that um, uh, our chastisement, the, ch uh, the chastisement for our peace was, uh, was upon who? Was upon him. Hallelujah. 
I mean 53, 53 and verse number 5. 53 and verse number 5. Amen. 53 and verse number 5. Amen. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him. By his stripes we are healed. Praise God. If you are going to enjoy peace, uh, uh, real peace, praise God, lasting peace, praise God. Amen. We need to appreciate uh, that, um, you know, Jesus paid the exchange rate. Hallelujah. Jesus paid the exchange rate. Praise God. We have to know that. We have to believe that. Praise God. And sometimes we have to be reminded every day, every day. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 7 um, and verse number 9. He said that if you will not believe, you will not be established. Hallelujah. If you will not believe, you will not what? He says the, the head of Ephraim is Samaria. The head of Samaria is Remaliah's son. If you will not believe, surely... You shall not be what? You shall not be established. Praise God. Now it is so okay for the head of Ephraim to be Samaria and the head of Samaria to be uh, Remalia. Amen. Can you hear how, how that rem, uh, rhymes? Praise God. Amen. It really rhymes very well. Hallelujah. But my head is Jesus Christ and him crucified. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. I want to entice us that today you will believe God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, um, <clears throat> you know, we are continuing in this uh, series today. And I want to post a um, series, so divine exchange. And I said, who is in charge? Praise God. Who is what? Who is in charge? Hallelujah. Say that there are many exchanges happening in the life of both believers and unbelievers throughout the life cycle, some of our own making, some without our making, some desirable, some undesirable, some profitable, some unprofitable, some in our favor, and some in our disfavor, hallelujah, some in our disfavor, hallelujah, some in our disfavor. Praise God. Let's take a, a few examples. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thinking about, you know, uh, you know, uh, the blessings of God. Uh, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 18. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse number 18. Praise God. One of those exchanges, praise God, is foolishness for wisdom. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. For the message of the cross is what? Foolishness to those who are what? Who are perishing. But to us who are being saved, it is what? It is the power of God. Hallelujah. If you compare that with chapter 1 and verse number 18, praise God. Chapter 1 and verse number 18 of the same chapter. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse number 18. Did you read 3.18? Hallelujah. Amen. Number two, praise God. Uh, humility for honor. Humility for honor. Proverbs 15.33. Proverbs 15.33. All these exchanges are happening with or without our making. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. With our making, that means that there is something about you that, provoke, that provokes the change that you want. Hallelujah. Praise God. You sit back and you see that there's a change that you want. Hallelujah. And you do everything in your power to do what? To provoke the change, to instigate the change. Praise God. But we also want to appreciate that there are also changes are happening around us. Praise God. That uh, 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 may be outside of our own making. Oh, they may take you by surprise. That's why the Bible said that we need to be watchful at all what? 
all times. Hallelujah. Praise God. And, you know, we need to be watchful. So Proverbs uh, 15, 33 says, The fear of the Lord is the what? Is the instruction of wisdom and before honor is what? Before honor is humility. Praise God. Before honor is humility. Praise God. And James chapter 4 and verse number 6, praise God. It tells us that the Lord does what? The Lord um, uh, 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 exalts the humble, but he does what? Um, he, he give, you know, uh, you know, he hates those that are proud, but gives grace to the what? To the humble. Praise God. So if you want the place of exaltation, if you want God to change, to exchange your low estate to a higher estate, do what? Just be humble. Praise God. Just be humble. Now, now that is easier said than what? That done. Praise God. Hallelujah. But Jesus Christ himself was our prime example. Praise God. Philippians 2, 5 to 7, he said that, you know, uh, uh, he did not consider himself equal with God, but he humbled himself to the point of death, even the death on the what? On the cross. Hallelujah. Praise God. He humbled himself. Hallelujah. So before honor comes humility. Praise God. There are so many folks that want the what? That they want the honor before the what? Before humility. Praise God. If you try, in, at least in this UK, you try to jump queue, you go back and what? You go back and queue. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Number three. Repentance before forgiveness. Hallelujah. Exchange, exchange, repentance for forgiveness. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. True forgiveness is birthed out of what? Is birthed out of out of repentance. Praise God. Is birthed out of what? Out of repentance. Praise God. You know, and this is the amazing, the amazing thing about Jesus Christ. We read when we read that uh, Mark chapter eight and verse verse thirty seven. He said that, you know, uh, uh, what can we give in exchange for our what? In exchange for our soul. Praise God. It's because, that, it's because the price that Jesus has paid is, is unmatchable by human what? By human terms or human abilities. Praise God. It's un what? It's unmatchable. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. He showed us that actually it's possible to do what? To forgive. Amen. It's possible to forgive. And in this instance, we were all locked up in ignorance. Praise God. We didn't know anything about what? About repentance. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. So Jesus decided to do, the, to do what? To forgive us regardless of our what? Regardless of our repentance. Praise God. But after he has done that, Praise God. It's gone ahead and say, you know, when you pray, pray like this. Forgive us as our sins as we do what? As we forgive those who do what? Who sin against us. Praise God. Hallelujah. And number four, quickly, you know, we're talking about a lot of these exchanges and it's easy, you know, talking about, you know, exchanging the place of blessing or, or cast for blessing. Praise God. Um, you know, uh, you know, and one of those is what we see in the book of Luke uh, 6, 38, you know, giving for abundant provision. Giving for what? For abundant provision. Praise God. All he says that, you know, give and it shall be what? It shall be given unto you, what? Full measure. Amen. And overflowing. Praise God. Shall men give into what? Into your bosom. Praise God. Shall men give to you. Praise God. Now, he say, interestingly, it doesn't say that shall God give to you. Amen? But shall men do what? Shall men give to you. But, but whose law is in action? It's God's law. Praise God. That means that whether men like it or not, they will do what? They will be mobilized to give to you. Praise God. Whether you like it or not, water will always flow downstream. Not what? Not upstream unless you apply a pump to the water. Praise God. Water will always do what? Flow downstream. God has established a law. All you need to do is be generous, be a giver. 
And God will cause men from all over the world, from all over the place to give into your life. Praise God. What is the exchange? You don't give. No man gives to you. Hallelujah. No man gives to you. Praise God. Amen. Now the psalmist, uh, the psalmist said in Psalms 30 and verse number 11, Psalms 30 and verse number 11, that he turned my morning into what? Into dancing. Hallelujah. You have turned for me my morning into dancing. You have put off my what? My sackcloth and clothed me with gladness. But they pray that prayer, turn my morning into dancing in the name of the Lord Jesus. I tell I say to you that you know these exchanges are happening all around us with us. Praise God, whether you are a part or not, praise God. They are doing they are what? They are happening. Praise God. Hallelujah. And um, you know, and the book of Matthew 5, Matthew chapter 5 and verse number 3, praise God. Hallelujah. God exchanges mourning for comfort. Hallelujah. Praise God. So if you are uncomfortable, you are not at ease. Praise God. The word of God assures us, praise God, that, uh, uh, that the Lord, you know, verse number three, blessed are the poor in the spirit. Um, there we are. Number four, sorry. Blessed are those who what? Who mourn, for they shall be what? For they shall be comforted. Praise God for they shall be comforted. Hallelujah. Praise God. Does anyone want any of these, by the way? Hey, hallelujah. Amen. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. And in the same verse, if you look at verse number seven, praise God, the Bible says, blessed are the merciful, for they shall be what? For they shall receive mercy. Hallelujah. Praise God. We exchange mercy for what? Mercy for mercy. Praise God. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Praise God. Now, these things are, you know, obviously, there's something about us that will provoke it. Praise God. But the principle and the law at work is a divine what? It's a divine law that works for you. I tell you what, somebody say, it's so beautiful to be in Christ Jesus. Because the law of Christ works for you even in the midst of your sleep. Hallelujah. It works for you and I. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Now, let's look at um, two, 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 two. Romans chapter 1 and verse number 25. Romans chapter 1 and verse number 25. Hallelujah. Amen. I say that some exchanges are un what? Are undesirable. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's take it perhaps from verse 21. Amen. So we can see the context. Praise God. Amen. Because although they knew God, they did not glorify him as God, nor were thankful, but became futile in their thoughts and their foolish hearts were darkened. Professing to be wise, they became what? They became fools. Somebody say exchange. Amen. You know, uh, and changed the glory of of the incorruptible God into an image made like what? Corruptible man, birds and four-footed animals and creeping things. Therefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness in the last of their what? Of their hearts to dishonor, to dishonor their bodies among themselves. And verse number 25, you know, who exchanged who exchanged the truth of God for what? For the lie. It's sad. I pray that this will not be your portion. In the name of the Lord Jesus, that God will not leave you to a reprobate mind. In the name of Jesus, praise God. Amen. Next, hallelujah. Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse number 15. Deuteronomy 30 and verse number 15. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, uh, in a sense, God is telling us here that there is an element of choice. See, I have set before you what? I've set before you today life and good, death or what? Death or evil. Praise God. Let's compare it with the book of John. John uh, chapter 5 and verse number 24. John 5 and verse 
number 24, praise God. John 5 and verse 24, most assuredly I say to you, he who hears my word and believes in him who sent me has everlasting life and shall not what? Shall not come into judgment, but has passed from what? From death to life. Praise God. If anybody you're listening to me online, praise God. God is sending you an open invitation that you will exchange death for life, that you will pass on from eternal damnation to eternity with God and Jesus Christ in heaven. Hallelujah. Praise God. Please exchange. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Why don't you say a prayer for yourself right now? Amen. Amen. Say, Daddy, please uphold me to walk, to serve, and to absolutely obey you in every course of my life. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Daddy, please uphold me to walk and to serve and to walk in absolute obedience that you will have no cause to replace me. In the name of the Lord Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Let's look at, you know, uh, another, another uh, um, uh, 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 example of exchange. Praise God. The Bible lets us understand uh, in the book of Genesis, Genesis 25, verse 22 to 23. Praise God, 22 to 23. You know, uh, and if you read 27, you will see that what happens, praise God, it was divinely orchestrated, praise God, hallelujah, that the younger, that, that the older will serve the what? Will serve the younger, praise God. Hallelujah. The exchange of Jacob, I mean the exchange of Jacob for who? For Esau. Praise God. The exchange of Jacob for Esau. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's all because God decided to be pleased with who? With Jacob and not be pleased with who? But with Esau. Hallelujah. Praise God. I don't know about you. But I do say that prayer, that all my life, O oh Lord, let me walk a walk that pleases God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Uh, Genesis 29, 25, we see Leah for Rachel. Hallelujah. Leah for Rachel. Praise God. Leah for Rachel. You know how I told you, praise God, that whether we like it or not, exchanges are happening with our making, without our what? Without our making, praise God. Who is in charge, praise God. The things that you can take charge of and you can influence, praise God, in this series, embrace them, change them. Hallelujah. The ones that you can't, cry out to God. Let nothing take you by surprise, praise God. Let nothing do what? Take you by surprise, praise God. I tell you, whether we like it or not, the Bible says the devil is like a roaring lion waiting for whom to what? To devour. Praise God. To some he digs pits. Hallelujah. That they will fall into the, into the pit and they are unable to achieve their vision for life. Praise God. That will not be your portion in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We know the story about, uh, about, uh, about Jacob, Rachel, and Leah. Praise God. He went to bed. Praise God. Jacob went to bed with Rachel. He woke up with Leah by his, by his side. Praise God. Somebody says sad. Amen. Hallelujah. Genesis 29 and verse 25. Amen. So it came to pass in the morning that behold, it was Leah. And he said to Laban, what is what? <laughs> what is this you have done to me? What is? <laughs> oh, dear. Somebody say, God, let nothing take me by surprise. How do you go to bed with Rachel and wake up with? What is this? Hallelujah. Amen. You know, was it not for Rachel that I served? Hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, Daddy, let no exchange that is not in my favor happen in my life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Judah for Reuben. Hallelujah. Judah for Reuben. Praise God. 
we understand that uh, uh, in, a, in a very paternalistic uh, culture like the Jewish culture, praise God, amen, the, uh, Reuben should have inherited the blessing being the first what? Being the firstborn. Praise God. Hallelujah. But Reuben committed an error. An error that costed him is what? His position in family, his position in community, his position in society. And I tell you what, even his position in eternity. In eternity. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Today, when we talk about Jesus, talk about who? Judah. We don't talk about Reuben. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. That even though Reuben was the firstborn according to the flesh, Judah became the firstborn. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, amen. Joshua for Moses. Let's read this. Numbers 27 verse 18. Joshua for who? Joshua for Moses. Praise God. Numbers 27 and verse um, 18. Numbers 27 and verse number 18. And the Lord said to who? To Moses. Take who? Take Joshua, son of Nun, with you, a man in whom is the Spirit, and lay your hand on him, set him before Eliezer the priest, and before all the congregation, and inaugurate him, amen, in their sight. Praise God. Another version say, you know, anoint him in your what? In your place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anoint him in your what? God, what if I still want the place? Amen. Hallelujah. Joshua for who? Joshua for, um, Joshua for, for Moses. Praise God. Now, obviously, that's not such a bad thing, praise God, in creating a society, praise God, you know, uh, where leadership is passed on and the blessing of God are passed on, praise God. But it's, it's a bad thing. If it's a replacement, praise God, against what? You know, against your will, praise God. If it's just your replacement because, you know, you have erred, hallelujah. I pray that you will not err. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you will not be replaced. In the name of Jesus, you will occupy your position, praise God, until it's time to move on. Hallelujah. To move on, I mean to higher glory. In the name of the Lord Jesus, between the book of 1 Samuel chapter 1 and chapter 4, praise God, we see the uprise of young Samuel to replace Eli. Praise God. And it's sad because God said that even the man had lived his life into the 90s. Praise God. Hallelujah. But God said to him, you know, you, will, you and your house will continue no more in my presence. You and your house. Hallelujah. You know, and Samuel, whom you have raised up, is your what? Is your replacement. Praise God. Hallelujah. I pray that you will not be exchanged. In the name of the Lord Jesus, in every walk of your life, you will provoke God to continue with you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, number six, David for Saul. David for Saul. Uh, 1 Samuel chapter 15 and verse 28. Amen. 1 Samuel 15 and verse 28. Praise God. 15 and verse uh, Verse 28, so Samuel said to him, I mean to Saul, the Lord has torn the kingdom of Israel from you, from you today and has given it to a neighbor of yours who is what? Who is better than you? Somebody say to your neighbor, how does that feel? Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. <laughs> to a neighbor of yours who is what? Who is better than? I tell you what, if you, want, if you want to overtake and surpass some people, just be better than them. Hallelujah. And I mean by God's standard, no, but not by jealousies and envies and hatred. And Hallelujah. Just be what? Just be. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. David for who? David for Saul. Praise God. I really pray that that is not, not our portion. In the name of Jesus, praise God. 
you know, and whether you like it or not, these things are happening. Praise God. God is replacing what? God is replacing people. Praise God. Hallelujah. God is replacing what? Replacing people. Praise God. And that comes as a bitter pill to swallow. Hallelujah. If we have good managers in the workplace who are looking for results, who are looking for performances, praise God. Can't God be a super manager? Hallelujah. Amen. God is all about kingdom advancement. Hallelujah. Praise God. Anyway, lastly, let's look at, um, you know, Elijah, Elisha for Elijah. Praise God. Elisha for Elijah. Praise God. First Kings, first Kings chapter 19, verse 15 and 16. Elisha for Elijah, First Kings chapter 19 and verse 15 and 16. Praise God. Now look at this with me. Then the Lord said to who? To him, Elijah, go, return on your way to the what? To the wilderness of Damascus. And when you arrive, anoint Hazel as king of Assyria. Also you shall anoint Jehu, the son of Nimshi, as king over Israel. And Elisha, the son of Shaphat of Abel, you know, Abel uh, Mehola, shall, you shall what? You shall anoint as prophet in what? You shall anoint as prophet in your place. Praise God. Now you will ask yourself, where did this conversation start from? The conversation started from, God, you know, I am so tired. They have persecuted all your prophets and they've killed all of them. I am the only one left. Hallelujah. And God said that, you know, please don't put me down. I am not out of resources. Yeah, I still have over 7,000 prophets. What? Left. But if you're telling me that you're tired, you want to give up now, now let me give you a last instruction. Praise God. Go and anoint Hazel anoint Jehu, and when you are finished, praise God, transfer your anointing and your, uh, onto who? Onto Elisha, praise God, and you and I can finish this business for now. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why when you hear men of God say no man is in, in, uh, no man is inexpendable, praise God, hallelujah, it should only bring us to a place of what? Of humility, praise God. But I tell you what, would it not be nice that, hallelujah, praise God, that with every displacement that is your uprise, is your promotion in the name of the Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Praise God that it's, uh, it's, it's your, it's your, it's your a, a, a time of your appointment. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. My spirit tells me to finish now. Hallelujah. Let me finish with this verse. Praise God. Job 14, 14. And you're going to pray. Amen. And we're going to... I appreciate God in a song or two and we'll bring the service to a close. Hallelujah. Job chapter 14 and verse number 14. Hallelujah. If a man dies, shall he live again? All days, all the days of my what? Of my hard service, I will wait till my what? Till my change comes. Why don't you rise up? Hallelujah. Why don't you rise up? Praise the Lord. Amen. Raise your voice. I don't know what change you believe in God for. Praise God. I don't know what change you believe in God for. To some, amen, is healing. To some, is deliverance. To some, pain to be taken away. To some, is the job that you believe in God for. I don't know what change you believe in God for. Why don't you raise your voice and cry out to God that, Father, let my change come speedily. In the name of the Lord Jesus, may my change come speedily. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Daddy, may my change come speedily. In the name of the Lord Jesus, cause my change come. In the name of Jesus, cause my tears to cease. Cause my pain to subside. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Daddy, change my story. In the name of Jesus, change my story. 